All right. I hope everyone had a, a, a good Christmas and uh, now it's back to work. Uh, our guys had a, a three-day window where they had a chance to go home and, and spend some time with their family and uh, get back in the, in the rhythm. Uh, worked out yesterday a couple of times, and today we came in this morning and shot, and we're going to work out at 3 and uh, just try to get back, get that rhythm back of, uh, as we continue in this non-conference schedule. Playing against an Austin P team that's pretty hot right now. Uh, Matt Figger, who used to be at South Carolina, uh, at Kansas State with uh, Frank Martin. Uh, obviously, they bring that physical brand of basketball. Team that's averaging 85 points a game and has, like I said, on a six game winning streak. So it's a team that has experience, uh, uh, some very, very talented uh, players, balanced scoring, uh, and they rebound the ball at a high clip. So it's, uh, I think it's going to be a real physical ball game, and we've got to match. Uh, that physicality, uh, rebound the basketball, and and try to get the tempo. I think the tempo is is where we're really trying to get get it more up tempo to our liking, where the possessions, are multiple possessions, as opposed to you know having those games where it comes down to the last possession of the game. So uh, so I'm looking for us to continue to develop our bench, and that's going to be a big key for us moving forward. Mike, I think this is your only game um, in a two-week span, you know, between Texas State and A and M. How, how did it happen that way? And as a coach, how do you feel about just having one game and in, in you know that extended period? Well, early on in November, we had so many games, and then of course in December, uh, you got finals. You got to uh, you got to put that around it as well. Uh, you know, if you think about last year, I think last year our, con our conference schedule started a lot earlier last year. This year, it's kind of went back to that first week. Uh, first weekend in in, in January. Uh, so uh, with this young team, it, it gives us an opportunity to, to come in and get some work done. Uh, we'll have some two a days, uh, one a days, uh, maybe three a days. I don't know, whatever it takes to get this team uh, to advance, to plan at a certain level. So this, this time here, we'll use it wisely. We had the, the window of, of practicing early on and, and playing games. And so now we have some uh, some feedback that we can really go with these guys in terms of how they got to play. And one of the things we got to be be consistent with the basketball. You know, last couple of games we've turned the ball over too many times, I think, just careless with the basketball. Uh, and I thought defensively we're still doing some pretty good things defensively. Uh, but I think it's time to, you know, as you get closer and closer to a conference time, you want to continue to, to try to play some of your better basketball. And I think, you know, again, I always say, February, late March, we play some of our better basketball. But, but I think now with this young team, we've got to get certain guys to really start stepping up and, and, and playing. Knowing those guys, we're going to have to count on those guys. Mike, I was curious what kind of growth you've seen from Daniel, I guess, just this calendar year from going through the SEC for the first time, uh, deciding to come back, and, and then what you've seen from him this year. I think he's been a little bit more consistent this year. I think uh, he's getting to the free throw lines a lot more. He, he started off pretty erratic. Now he's starting to settle down at the free throw line. Uh, he's going to have to be someone we can count on, hopefully a double-double uh, in games. And he's had it here the last few ball games. Um, so he's going to be that uh, that piece we're going to go through. And he's got to be able to either make plays or, or get other guys involved. And uh, I, I think from a maturity standpoint, he's got a lot coming at him. And uh, the teams are getting more physical with him. And we've got to continue to make that adjustment. Uh, uh, but he has some help. I think that's the biggest answer for him. You know, early on, I thought he was trying to go get it. You know, losing so many players from last year, uh, the, the questions had been asked: of Who are those guys going to help us? Now we see Isaiah can get us some points. We used to seeing a guy like Mason uh, being involved, Jalen Harris. Uh, our bench is slowly starting to emerge, uh, and of course, a guy like Adriel's got to. Uh, I think he's got to show his experience and. Uh, of being here and, and done that before. And so those guys can kind of uh, lean on his shoulders a little bit. You mentioned that after Western Kentucky, you thought they were kind of a little full of themselves after Colorado State. You figure some of these games like Western Kentucky and even San Antonio and some of them prepare a team for Austin P not to take them lightly. Well, I, I think it's opened our guys' eyes, you know. I keep saying every team's good. I mean, you can't – one thing you can't – you can't teach experience. And if you look at all those teams, they got experienced guys coming back. And uh, they can beat a lot of teams. And so uh, you don't want to be that team that, that they beat. 
so, but I think those lessons uh, have served well for us. And, and not only those lessons from the standpoint of uh, some of them come turn out losses, but we've had some close games. And every game we've had, we have close games. And so you got to be able to figure out how to win those games. In conference play, it's going to come down to that, that, that possessions, that deflection, uh, uh, that basket, the free throw line. It's going to come down to a lot of different things, and we're experiencing that. Uh, you know, with this team here coming in, Austin P, I I think they're going to be very similar to what South Carolina brings to the table. You know, they get up in you, they get in the lanes, and uh, they, they get out there. And so these are, uh, I think these are test for us, and, uh, and I think it'll better prepare us for uh, some of what's going to take place in league play. Mike, how did the practices go yesterday, especially in the first one? The guys seemed rusty. Were you pretty pleased with could you tell they'd spent some time in the gym during the break, or just how did you think the practices? Went? I ain't spent as much time as I would want them to. Uh, they, they were okay. They got through it. They got through it. So, uh, that for today, we came in and shot some this morning, and we'll get back at it. You know, it, it, it takes a day or two to get that that day off, those days off out of you. Uh, there are some guys that stayed here that you could tell they've been in the gym, but then there's some guys that, you know, the first thing that goes is your win. Your win goes, and sometimes your timing goes. And so that means now you can devote yourself to basketball now. I mean, they don't have anything else going on. No school right now. So, uh, you know, guys getting in and getting some extra reps is going to be important right now. You guys have gotten off to a slow start. You, know, you fell behind uh, Georgia Tech, I think, 13-2. to <coughs> Fell behind 19-6 to the other day. And you caught up both times. But what do you think you guys have to do to get off to, to better starts? Come out with great energy. Come out with much better focus. Uh, great sense of urgency. Uh, that's, that's the thing we talked about. We've got to be more consistent in, in how we play. You know, it's funny how we were playing earlier. We came out and got off to some great starts. And then all of a sudden, you, you have some lull. And, and, and part of it is me, too. I'm, I'm tinkering with the lineups, trying to get certain guys going and uh, putting them in, 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 in positions that they hadn't been in before and just to see how they respond. Uh, let's say a guy like Reggie. You know, the other day, he starts for the first time. and. And I'm sure he was starstruck. You know, it's one thing to, to, to get out there, but when you get out there, but once he came back in after that, I thought he had settled down. And you had the day of the day, I, I guess, where the, you guys uh, gave the shoes to the kids. I know you all do that every year. Um, how, what do you think of that event? What do you, how do you think it impacts the players? Oh, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tremendous uh, – it's a humbling experience is what it is. I mean, you can – serve others and you can wash their feet and you, you put smiles on kids' face, the parents' face. And these are some people that, you know, are, are less fortunate than we are. Uh, so it, 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 to me, it, it really humbles you and, and the things that you use take for granted, you can't take them for granted. And so, you know, we live in this community. It's an opportunity for us to impact with the Samaritan's feet. Uh, so our guys really enjoy it. It's, it's amazing how our guys interact and because uh, they're kids themselves. And just to see them smile and put a smile on, on some of the, the family's faces, especially during this time here. It's, uh, uh, and, and what it does, I, I think it really makes our guys want to go out and do even more events in this community and, and try to help and serve. Rebound the other day, uh, Texas State had a lot of offensive boards. Some of that was because they were missing a lot of shots. But what, what do you think about the rebounding? What do you have to do to kind of get the rebounding back to how you want it to be? I think our guys got to—we got to be a team that rebounds basketball. We're not going to have one or two guys just get all the rebounds. So our guards are going to have to be uh, have to rebound. So after watching that game there, it just uh, kind of reinforces what we talk about. You know, our guards are going to have to really be involved. And I think when our guards involve rebound. Now we really can get the tempo up because now they can get it and they can go with it. And we got forwards that can really run and they're athletic and make plays. Uh, so that's uh, some of the things that we really got to work on uh, with this team, to be consistent in everything that we do. Because our defense has been pretty good. Like you said, they missed a lot of shots. But the ending part of defense is rebounding the basketball. And therefore, you got to get in there. There's a lot of long rebounds. They were much quicker to the ball, but uh, it's something we got to address and, and, and continue to address throughout the year. With Adriel, you know, he he say he feels good that he'll bounce back and, and play like he was earlier. How, how do you feel about where he's at right now? And he better be. He, he better was. bounce back, and I, and I think it's all just a, uh, just you know where your mind is coming out and doing the things that you do. You know, we know he's an energy guy, so he's got to bring that energy to the table. Has Justice started practicing with the team yet? No. 
Kentucky again, or who's, who's going to start? No, I, I don't. I don't know right, right at this point in time. Like I said, I just you know get some practices on our belt, and uh, we'll, we'll go with it from there.